Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rick Creating. So today we're going to do a review of Wave 1 of the Retro Masters of the Universe. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I have here Wave 1 of the Retro Masters of the Universe figures. Um, you guys already seen me uh, unbox this dude. Well, I didn't really unbox him at the time, but I am going to unbox him now. And I have two other figures that I have gotten from a very, very, very good friend of mine, Edward Littleton. Uh, if you guys don't know who Edward Littleton is, uh, you guys are probably new to my channel because I have mentioned him a few times already in my channel. Uh, speaking of which, I am still doing a giveaway for his channel. Uh, I'm trying to get him to 100 subscribers. So as soon as I get 100 subscribers in his channel, um, I will uh, do a giveaway. Now the giveaway present that I'm going to give away, um, I haven't mentioned yet, but I will as soon as he gets 90 subscribers and then I'm going to explain to you the rules of the giveaway and then once I get 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away that figure. It is a figure, I already know what I'm going to give away, but I'm not going to announce it until uh, he gets at least 90 subscribers. So if you guys haven't done so already, Make sure you guys head over there to his channel. The link will be down below so you guys can go check him out. The link to his channel. Go to his channel. Subscribe. Once he gets 90, I'll let you guys know how to enter to win one of my figures. And um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. And once he reaches 100, we'll do the giveaway. Anyways, let's get into these guys. Alright guys, so let's start off with Skeletor here. Uh, originally, well, sometimes I am an inbox collector. I do have a few little things that I don't open, but the way I usually do it is I do open them, uh, pose them a little bit, fill them out, make sure they're really cool or how they feel. Um, it's just an artist thing, I guess, or just what I do. I'm just weird like that. <laughs> or I have to see what the figure feels like. If it's cheap plastic or real plastic or real good plastic or... Uh, how everything moves around and stuff like that and whatnot and that's what I do and that's what I usually what I do with my figures So without any further ado, let's get right into this dude I know he's gonna clash a little bit with the background. I did already had to open this guy earlier before uh, Because like I said, uh, I, I do I did want to open these guys and check them out even though even though this brings back really good memories um seeing these the the box or the uh the shell um out and to see all the figures together like that uh brings back really good memories i remember seeing them in a shelf like that and that was that was that was really really cool um yeah those days are gone <laughs> those days are gone but anyways let's open this guy up and check him out uh, if you guys did see my last review or of these guys when I first got them um, I let you guys know that the the feet to me look a lot smaller and I will compare them to the other Skeletor in a little bit the original Skeletor and I'll show you guys whether or not these are smaller or not uh, than the original figures but to me they look a lot smaller even though they they balance really well um, as far as articulation goes, uh, to, of course, a lot better than the original ones. These have all kinds of swivels and turns and flips and whatnot. The plastic, though, does seem a little bit cheap to me. Um, I don't know if to anybody else it seems cheap. It is like a rubbery plastic as far as this, this goes. Uh, the rest of it seems like it's the same type of plastic, just thicker. I guess just a lot thicker um, but I don't know, I don't know. It, 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 it could be wrong I could be wrong but articula articulation is really great on these guys the head is not squishy uh, you can't squeeze the head like the original ones um, but it's, it's a harder plastic I think they started making a harder plastic heads after after a while but the original ones the very first ones had a squishy head but um, other than that I mean this figure is really cool it looks just like the old school one just modernized i guess it's just more of a modern figure of it um the joints are a lot better uh you could make the split without wearing to you know snap one of these legs off because that's what happens to the original ones they always snap off uh which was a pain in the butt but you know it is what it is you could hold his 
sword there and he could hold his little well almost hold his thing i mean if you pose him like that he could hold it pretty good but uh other than that he won't be able to carry it it will just like swing off unless you put it on this side like so but where are you gonna put a sword at you know it would have been cool if they had something back here where you could put a sword and did his strap his bra strap <laughs> but uh yeah like it would have been cool if we could have his sword somewhere back here that would have been pretty cool but anyways there's skeletor um i don't know if i should go into too much detail into articulation you guys could see articulation it's just it's really really good everything's fine and dandy and type of thing but anyways uh let's get into another figure all right next one on the line is the master himself mr he-man himself master of the universe uh mr he-man oh i didn't even show the back to the other ones i'm sure you guys saw the back ones before if you guys saw my other video my previous video this is the thing that i hated the most about the figures the the old school figures is that when you pull them off of the case you can't put them back in so they all come with their own little booklet uh he had his too but i left it in my in my drawer and the drawer is a little too far away from from where i'm filming this so um but it's a little cool comic book there you guys can check out the comic book and there's all wave one which i'm about to show you guys all of wave one Thanks to Mr. Edward Littleton. So put these things off to the side. Pull this guy out. They do come with some rubber bands here, but it's not going to hold Mr. He Man down. So here he is. Wow, it feels weird holding him in one of these figures. I remember when I was a little kid, these did like seem like very, very big, but now that I'm grown up, uh, these figures feel small. They feel like tiny. But anyways, um, the same thing with the articulation. It's the exact same thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure the molds are exactly the same as, uh, as the Skeletor figures, except, you know, the boots are completely different. Oh, they have a swivel here too. I didn't even realize that, but I turned the leg all the way around, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there's he, man. The face looks a little bit different than uh, the original one. To me, it looks different. It's not the same, and the hair is a little, a little funky. See, if they would have done this for Skeletor, so you could put his uh, sword back here, that would have been pretty cool. That would have been a, an idea, Mattel, you know. But get his uh let's get his little stuff out of here so this is what uh he-man comes with a shield which you could hold oops let's put it through there first like that which is pretty cool that looks really cool i like how that looks i like that plastic look to it the little gray to it it's a nice color you could either have his axe you could have his axe there <laughs> And a sword back here, which would be ideal. Like that. Which is cool. Or you could switch it around. Have a sword up here. Somehow. If he holds it. There we go. There we go. And then his axe. Back here. Poking him in the butt. Bang, 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 bang. He meant, is that an axe in your back? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, anyways, uh, and then uh, Edward was was man mentioning that you could put these two swords together. Can you? Oh yeah, you can. Well, what do you know? You can. So you could be the good, or you could be the bad. You could be the good, or you can be the bad. Anyways, that was pretty uh, cringy, but. I have no power. So there it is. That's pretty cool. 
That is pretty cool. I don't know the reason why they did this. If anybody knows the reason why they did this, like, is there an upcoming secret thing that we should know about? I think it has to do with the castle. Remember the castle, had, you have to put a your sword in it so you could have the key. I think that's the reason why they did it, but it still doesn't make any sense to me because, I mean, it's Great Skull and that's He-Man's place. And why wouldn't He-Man have the sword? You know what I mean? I don't know. If anybody could explain that to me, I appreciate it if you do. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, that's cool too. So anyways, that's He-Man. Let's put He-Man to the side. He-Man looks really cool. Alright guys, so for the sake of time, I just took him out of the package. So um, you guys won't have to see me wrestle with the package. It does come with another booklet too. And... Uh, this is a uh, man at arms. This is uh, He-Man's right hand man. Uh, some people said he had a mustache. Some people he has said that he had a. Um, he doesn't have a mustache, but you know, it's a. It's one of these. Uh, um, it's like the Wonder Bread He-Man guy, whether he's um, he's real or not. But anyways, uh, this is pretty cool because articulation is awesome. You can look all the way around. Original one, just like. Me, 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 me. Uh, once again, this is like a soft plastic. Uh, these are the accessories that he comes with. This is his like little, his little, um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> but, uh, he does come with, uh, armor, of course, because he is the man at arms. Alright, so. There's his accessories, which is just his shields, basically. Uh, that goes on his arm, and it goes on uh, his shins there. Um, but, yeah, it looks pretty freaking cool. Articulation is exactly the same. Once again, the exact same mold. I'm pretty sure there's the same mold as He-Man, because it's literally the same body. It's just a different sculpt head, and the accessories that are different. Uh, he's painted different. And that's basically all that is different. And that's what they did in the original ones. That They were all the same molds. Well, most of them were the same molds. They'll just change the boots, the face, and the armor, whatever it is. That's the only difference. But as far as the body goes, it's usually the exact, exactly the same thing. But anyways, he's got a, his, pimp, his pimp cane. What's up, girl? You got my money? Girl, you better have my money. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway... All right, let's get into the women of the line. This is Evil Lynn. I've never had her as a kid. Um, I don't think I ever had her as a kid. I don't remember having her as a kid, so I don't think I did. But anyways, um, her accessory is this little... Uh, once again, it's pretty hard to put in there. There we go. A little crystal bog, I guess it is, with the eagle... Um, or a hawk's uh, talent there uh, and there she is pretty cool pretty cool it's the whole back view for you little uh, 12 a.m. kids out there <laughs> I like to call it 12 a.m. kids but anyways the little kids that stay up at 12 a.m. making sure mommy and daddy are asleep uh, those are the 12 a.m. kids anyways but yeah I mean articulation is pretty good too she could be like, oh dear, oh dear, I have a headache, I have a headache. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, there it is. Evil Lynn, pretty cool articulation. Let me show you articulation because uh, since there's a female, the line, it's basically the same thing as all the other figures. Uh, bend at the knee like that. A little swivel at the, at the feet, goes back and forth like that. Uh, there's a twist on the waist. Kicks far, kicks up that much, kicks to the side that much, um, up, it goes up that much, down this much, a little elbow joint there, uh, there's a little twist there, and a rotation there, uh, the head same thing, she could look down that much, and she could look up that much, I guess this kind of uh, keeps it from moving back, but looks down that much you could rotate it all the way and yeah that's evil in for you all right and continuing on with the women line 
or with the rest of the women uh this is tila um i did have tila as a kid i do remember having her as a kid um but she disappeared for some reason and i did used to have a neighbor that used to steal all my figures so i'm pretty sure that is where it went but anyways uh she's a really cool figure i know uh she's really hard to find in the original one i think it is and she's very expensive in the original one or the original line um and then she has uh a variety of colors uh, I think the other colors are a little bit harder to find look at this chick over here getting all jealous and stuff you know what I'm saying yo yo girl you better you better get yourself back in line you know what I'm saying you better have my money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is pretty late guys so yeah anyways uh, so she looks pretty cool and you could take this off if you like uh, she looks really cool. The face looks really, really nice. That's a really nice sculpt of the face. Uh, compared to the original one. The original one, the face was kind of wonky. Uh, same thing with the articulation. Well, this is basically her her accessories that she comes with. Uh, the shield and her wand, her snake wand. Um, but yeah, uh, here's a little, little spin around. For your 12 o'clock clip, 12 o'clock midnight kids. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you could take this off if you like. And uh, looks up that much. The same thing it hinders uh, the movement looking up, but she could look down that much. And as far as the arm, it goes up that much. She goes to the side that much. She goes up and down. She does have a bend at the at the elbow and twist there. Kicks up that much and knee down like that. Bam! Kick to the side. Do that Van Damme kick like that. And then goes down. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool figure. I like this figure. Um, could you put her shield on her back? No. But, anyways, it's a really nice figure. Uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. So last but not least, one of my favorite, personally, one of my favorite figures from um, the He-Man line, uh, Beastman. Uh, I've always wanted this guy as a kid. I can never find him as a kid. Uh, they were always sold out for some strange reason, but um, I think he's a really, really cool figure. Uh, this is another figure that they used a different mold. You could tell because he has hair here and he has hair on his chest, uh, and then he has hair here. So they had to use a different mold, and obviously the feet are different as well. You could tell there's no um, lines on the feet like uh, He-Man or um, uh, Man at Arms has, or it doesn't have Skeletor's feet either. He has his own feet, so they got his own mold for this guy. But nonetheless, he's still a really, really cool figure. Uh, one of my favorites, like I said. Um, he does come with this megaphone. <laughs> it does look like a megaphone, but it's originally a whip. It's supposed to be a whip, just in case you know they get all they get all aligned. Whoops, whoops, whoops. But um, yeah, I th I I always wanted one of these guys, and I couldn't have them as a kid. Uh, so as a grown up, I bought a few of these guys, the original ones, and now I have uh, this guy. So it's pretty cool. These figures are really cool to uh, look at. Um, like I said, it brings back a whole bunch of memories, and it's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to you know be an adult and have these little guys in hand, and they're bringing back all the good all the goodies, all the good stuff that they used to have as a kid. But anyways, articulation exactly the same thing. Uh, the accessories that it comes with are these things. Of course, these things are rubber. Uh, this is a hard plastic. And it's got a little, this is just like little rope. If my camera will focus. But anyways. There it is, guys. Three bad guys and three good guys. All right, guys. So that is it. That's going to wrap up the video. I do want to thank my good friend, Edward Littleton, for providing these for me. Uh, he's, you know out of the kindness of his heart and his father of course his dad this was supposed to be his dad's and his dad out of the kindness of his heart 
he decided to send it to me because he knew that I was a little bit low on cash right now and I still am so if you guys are into custom figures and you guys want me to do custom figures for you guys please let me know or some dioramas please let me know I'll be more than happy to, to you know help you guys out on that because uh, uh, first of all my birthday is coming up and I do want to do uh, I do want to stream on my birthday uh, whether it's on Instagram because I do need a thousand subscribers which I'm almost there guys uh, so if you guys are new to the channel you guys are the first time here and um, you guys haven't subscribed make sure you guys subscribe I'm trying to get to a thousand so I could start streaming more I could do live videos and I could show you guys the uh, uh, the custom figures that I'm doing while I'm doing it and because uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking could you do tutorials could you do tutorials of this could you do tutorials of that um, tutorials are really hard to do because it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of your time to do uh, it's a lot of recording then afterwards there's a lot of editing and then uh, to upload it and at the same time you're working at the actual custom figures that you're doing um, instead of doing all that I could cut some time with just doing live streaming the only way to do live streaming is if I have a thousand subscribers which I'm almost getting to which when I do a dozen when I get a thousand subscribers because I know I will um i will be doing a giveaway and i will be doing a giveaway of a custom figure of mine so if you guys are interested in a custom figure of mine uh, please let me know leave a comment down below and that's probably what i'll do a giveaway at um once i reach adult subscribers for you guys uh one lucky guy is or girl or whoever is watching uh one of you is gonna get a custom figure from me so uh, as soon as I get a thousand subscribers, of course. But anyways, that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I want to thank Edward Littleton once again. Really, really nice guy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you sending these over to me. Uh, you even paid for shipping, which is awesome. And uh, you sent all this stuff to me. And forever grateful man thank you so much buddy for you know always being there sticking to me you know sticking around uh i appreciate you so much man you're really good you're you're a good pal but anyways i do appreciate it if you guys like this uh episode make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what guess we'll see me on next one peace girl i said where's my money you better give me my money Homeboy, you better go somewhere else with that. The end.